much. Um, here we are, and um, the, the following that I, I try to show now is a little bit um, different than, the, than your usual card trick, because it is, uh, in fact, a, a romantic card trick, okay? And uh, there are not too many of those, okay? Uh, have, have you ever seen a, a romantic card trick before? No, no. Okay, that's very, very rare. And, uh, but, but you also, you need a little bit of imagination, okay? We use your fantasy here. Um, for example, um, could, you, could you just imagine that this is not a deck of playing cards, okay? So those are not cards, but those are, in fact, um, small, flat people. Okay. okay, can you imagine that? <laughs> oh, and there's one, one person that is very special, um, and that's this guy, okay? the Joker. And I say a person, but it's not really a person, it's very special. It's not the Joker in our little imagination story here, but this is, in fact, um, the God of Love. Mm. Cupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um, what, what is your name? Susan. Susan. Can I can I give you Cupid? Hello. Hello. Susan. <laughs> Cupid. Cupid. Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Actually working. <laughs> and um, have you met uh, Cupid? And you? Uh, I see. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's been working <laughs> but no, very important. Very important. They say that every card in a in a deck, um, uh, and and maybe also every person has its perfect partner. Okay, its perfect mate. So the two that belong together. So uh, in in a deck of cards, for example, there would be I don't know any card. For example, we have a, a red eight here, like the. Eight of hearts, and the perfect partner for this card would be the other red eight in the deck. So eight of hearts would be here, and then the eight of uh, diamond here, over here, yes? eight of diamonds. So the, every card has its, its partner. And um, we can see that Cupid's influence on the cards is actually quite strong. And uh, it's, it's interesting to see because, uh, can, you, can you hold Cupid like this? Yeah, this is interesting. Um, it is a, a, a well-known fact that whoever is holding Cupid in his or her hands immediately falls in love with the first person um, they are looking at. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but now, um, to begin to begin this little uh, experiment here, the, the important thing is that the deck of cards is really well and thoroughly shuffled, okay? So now usually a, a shuffle would be something like this, okay? The cards are mixed uh, together like in, like in a casino, for example, like all like this, and then they're shuffled. But there is one special shuffle, and this is called the romantic shuffle, okay? Mm -hmm. Susan, do you, do you know how to do this romantic shuffle? Have you shuffled cards in a romantic way? You, no. no? You want That's, to see? Yeah. It's, it's not, okay, actually, yeah. it's quite nice. It goes like this. Um, the cards are shuffled in the, in the normal way, like this, but then okay, you, you spread them on the table like this, and uh, could you place Cupid uh, mm -hmm. down for a while? And if you hold your left hand here, like this, perfect, yeah. and I hold my right hand on that side, and now we shuffle the cards together. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you>. oh. <laughs> How was it for you? <laughs> maybe, let, let's try it again. So maybe, um, so that it doesn't take so long, we take about half the cards, half the cards. And um, yeah, we can actually do it, do it again, okay? Just because I enjoyed it so much. Okay? So, uh, again, we shuffle those cards thoroughly like this. And again, if you put your hand here on that side, and we go to like, oh. Very good. I could do that all night. And uh, now, of course, the important thing is that the cards are not only shuffled, but they are romantically shuffled, okay? Uh, the result is pretty much the same. So if you look at the cards, we have, you can watch close, we have the 2, Very 7, romantic. and the Jack, 7, 10, 5, so whatever order they, they happen to be in. And now those cards go inside of the card case, okay? And uh, maybe Thomas, I leave them here on that side, okay? And you can always remember that those cards, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. That those cards have really been romantically shuffled, okay? And now we are actually going to make one of the cards very happy because Cupid is, is uh, trying to make one card find its perfect partner, okay? Uh -huh. um, let's take any card, for example, maybe the lady over there. Can you just say stop whenever you like? Okay. Stop. Right there? Yeah. So we have a nine. 
Okay. A red nine, nine of nine of diamonds. Okay. And now for this card to find its perfect partner, I, I give it to you, Susan. Mm -hmm. And if you could just take this card and place it anywhere into the packet here, but face up. Okay. Face so up. reversed. Okay. Yes. Anywhere you like. On that spot. Yeah. Exactly there. Mm -hmm. And now this is where Cupid enters the scene, okay? <laughs> because <laughs> now Cupid will fly over the cards and you see he has a bow and arrow, so can, he can shoot those little arrows, okay? It goes like this. First he flies across the scene. <laughs> 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 and then the important part. <laughs> we could hear how the arrow has hit. And now one card should have found it's perfect mate if you take out your card where, wherever you placed it and with a card right next to it. Okay, this is the card they're, yeah. they're looking at each other. And we see one red nine. Oh, look, yes, yes, exactly found the other red nine. Wow. of course looking at you there are some skeptics okay and some people are very suspicious and they think well maybe just maybe <coughs> it has nothing to do with uh, divine influence maybe it's just a trick <laughs> <laughs> imagine that okay so, um, so for those uh, for those uh, how do you say, people who don't believe anything. Um, I, I have uh, some proof here. Maybe, uh, can we try again? For example, you, I, I, I put the cards down like this, I let them drop, and whenever you like, you just say, stop. But okay. he's a believer. You're a believer? Yes. yes. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Much easier then, and, and good for you. <laughs> so whenever you like, you say, stop. Oh, be before we end. Are you sure he's a believer? He's a believer. He looks quite difficult to me. Try again. Seriously, you try again whenever you like. You say stop. Stop. Right there. Okay. Okay. Very early this time. And now, this is the important part. See, if now if Cupid does not fly, then the cards. Let's see. Yes, then the cards don't match. That's proof that it is really. Thank you very much. Not, okay. not convinced, okay? Yeah. But it doesn't matter. It gives us two more cards, so maybe we, we try again. Uh, maybe, Suzanne, can I give you one of the cards? Mm -hmm. And we, we try like this. I will uh, place the cards to the table, mm -hmm. one by one or in little groups, and whenever you like, you can just place your card face up on top. This okay? card? This card there, okay. wherever you like. Okay, could be here or there or maybe that spot. Or Already? Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. And we do the same thing again, Thomas, maybe with you. I hand you one of the cards, perfect. And uh, just the same thing, you, you drop your card Face up with, oh, whoa, wow. <laughs> tack, very, very good, okay. very excited, tack, okay. And now we have two cards, of course, so this means that now Cupid has to fly twice, okay, of course, so you had uh, that once, I see. <laughs> you want to try? Okay, if you go, yeah. I do the soundtrack, okay, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does it a little bit differently. But okay, that's fine. okay, and now this part again. I wrote, I wrote that myself. And now I take, I take out the cards, very important, exactly next to the ones that you put in there. You put your card very, very early, so it's far down here and, and yours as well like this. And now first we can have a look maybe at the other cards, okay? And of course, as you can see, those cards, they have nothing much to do with, with each other because they were thoroughly shuffled. So we have uh, those two, for example, here, or we have, let's see, a, a queen and a five and a four and another queen, or here we have uh, those, you can see, right? Maybe a six and, and an ace and a two and an eight. So nothing special, okay? But of course, those cards have not been enchanted by, by Cupid, okay? But those two have. So, and if this has worked, and then Cupid has cast his, his spell, then not only has one red nine just found another red nine, but then this red ace should have found exactly <laughs> the other red ace. <laughs> and the red ace. I just noticed I, I put the cards, uh, you see, I put them on top of Cupid, like this, the whole packet I placed there. Th this is uh, something you must never do. Very important, it's dangerous, because when, when Cupid is so close to the cards all the time, in, in direct contact, then uh, it, its influence is so strong that, that it becomes incredible, then it's unrealistic. <laughs> let, let's have a look, maybe, 
Maybe uh, we'll keep it away here. Then yes, see now oh those two God. cards. Oh. They're also there. The two red queens and now those two cards have paired up. The two black sixes and the two black aces are now together, and all the cards have been shuffled. I did it again. I put, <laughs> I, I put the, the cupid on top of the cards here, and and oh my, those were in the box all the time. And Susan, you remember those cards were really mixed. The romantic, you remember? The, yeah. yeah. How, how could you forget? <laughs> <laughs> and I think shall, shall we have a look? Maybe maybe it has happened even with those really shuffled and mixed cards. And I think yes. Oh, oh, the two threes and the kings and the fours and those kings and the red six and the twos and the sevens and the jacks and the tens and the fives and the jacks. Oh, and the